Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about another important component of a solar installation, which is the DC combiner box or a string combiner box as it is called in the solar industry. A DC combiner box or a string combiner box in a solar installation is one of the major components and normally uh, they are dependent on the inverter. If uh, example it's uh, off-grid inverter or a hybrid inverter you will require a lot of current and less voltage so many strings get paralleled in a DC combiner box before getting into the inverter. In a normal on-grid inverter you use this box for a protection and there are also some cases where the government has an norm towards this and they say that it is mandatory to have a DC combiner in your solar installation. But here the point that we would like to insist is that there is an importance because the DC combiner box is installed in a solar power plant for its safety and that will be explained to you in this video. DC combiner boxes come in different sizes and most of the time they are installed in a polycarbonate enclosure. When I say polycarbonate, it's a better form of plastic. It's uh, very durable than a normal plastic. It is fire resistant and does not emit any hazardous gases. And the other components in a DC combiner are mainly the uh, solar uh, fuses, DC reverse protection fuses, the DC SPDs and uh, there can be a DC breaker there can be a string monitoring unit which can also be installed in a DC combiner all put together this box uh, is called as a DC combiner box or a string combiner box or even a string monitoring box but now let's see why do we use this uh, small unit called a DC fuse this is a 15 ampere thousand volt fuse and why do we use this fuse is a big, big question normally in inverters which combine two or more strings inside one MPPT like uh, imagine an inverter which has uh, five strings in an MPPT and those five strings are being paralleled inside the MPPT if one string voltage goes low then there is a high chance of the other strings attacking the string with the lower voltage then pushing their power into the inverter they will start coming in the reverse direction attacking the string with the lower voltage so every string is normally protected with a reverse protection fuse but why is this fuse 15 ampere that is because it is connected to the manufacturer of the solar panel normally solar panels junction boxes are made to handle twice of their short circuit current and their short circuit current is normally 9 ampere so twice of it is 18 and this is the reason why we have a 15 ampere 1000 volt rated fuse in higher systems you can also get this 1500 volt 25 ampere fuses they all are dependent on the manufacturer of the module and in the way you install them when you use a y connector you obviously cannot go with this fuse you'll have to go with a bigger fuse and then spds inverters are the expensive components in your solar system one inverter but that is the most expensive component so when there is a lightning strike on your solar plant when there is a surge that's the only form of surge that can occur in a solar installation when there is a lightning strike you don't want that uh, power to get into your inverter and kill your inverter so we normally have spds and one spd per mppt has to be installed we have seen um, installations with uh, two three mppt inverters and the combiner box has only one MPPT uh, or sorry one SPD that is uh, going to create a problem with your inverter because if the inverter has three MPPTs then you'll have to provide three SPDs in your DC combiner box but providing one SPD can um, create a problem with the MPPT algorithm of the inverter. The next thing is the DC breaker like this box is not having a DC breaker but you can see there are two fuses installed that is because you can um, reduce the cost of the breaker by installing two fuses here so that's one way of breaking your string but do not break your string under load in your DC combiner box you can create arcs in between them so there are two fuses in installed in positive and negative that's just because 
you are reducing the cost of the DC breakers. The other component can be, as I said, um, um, string monitoring unit. String monitoring units comes uh, in different sizes and uh, capacities and it's a Modbus uh, protocol communicating unit so that is also installed here to power up the device you take power from your solar string make a small conversion from a 1000 volt to a 24 volt DC and then power it up. So these are uh, main components and this box is nicely done. It has a mounting plate. We have seen uh, DC combiners without mounting plates and every uh, connection is uh, having a lug here which is properly crimped, having a heat sleeve. There are uh, ferrules to mark the names of the cables coming in. Uh, MC4 box connectors are being used of good quality and there is a small gland to bring out the earthing wire because there is a SPD in this box. The most important reason why you install a DC combiner box is for safety reasons. I'll tell you why. Imagine any power generating source, let it be a wind or even a nuclear power station for that example. In case you go there for a maintenance, you can easily shut down your power generating source. Even a nuclear power plant can be shut down for that reason, but a solar power plant cannot. If it is a 5 kilowatt or a 10 kilowatt or even a 1 kilowatt, when the sun is shining and you'll have to do your maintenance, you can still not shut down your solar power plant and that's when you need a DC combiner box. When you switch off the inverter, the power is still up to the inverter, but you are there to maintain the inverter. So switch off the inverter, you are shutting down the system, then go to the DC combiner, switch off or open the fuses in the DC combiner, and now you're safe to work with your inverter because that's high voltage DC, and that's why you'll have to be very careful with the solar panel outputs. So this is one main and important reason that's the safety which is why we have to install a DC combiner box in a solar system. Thank you.